not out of the tournament, right? You, you're just a, a step behind. So there is maybe a little bit of that from Astralis that they feel confident enough in their position of the game to pull out the vertigo. But to kick things off, we begin on overpass, of course. VP on that T side. Plenty of utility coming out. It looks like they've got plans towards B. What do they got for us? Second game of the day, but probably the first game of the day where most of the continent of Europe are waking up to watch. Oh, it's a... Oh, Jambi going to find two. Norbert in for the trade as Norbert are making a double. Honestly, back on towards down as well. But bro, he's claiming some space. He'll find a frag of his own. Does take a dink, but a smoke will come through and that'll keep him alive. The bomb of Norbert is still known to be there as well. Yep, they absolutely know about him. Uh, there's a smoke of the way, you know, nothing that they can uh, do to retaliate at the end of the day. It's still not out of the question here. Goat Norbert still alive on the Glock. Taking it nice and slow. Ooh, and they have pulled off of this B bomb site. Yes, they've got a boost. Yes, they've got a hold, but uh, it's, it's not the most secure. You know, you can definitely dip under this. And they do have... A fair bit of utility, considering there's only two of them left here in this pistol. So, curious as to what they're going to do with that. Norbert goes to check upstairs by himself. Jane maybe sticking around to fake things out. No, okay, Norbert. Just making sure that there's nobody lurking around, looking for a quick flank if they do go for this B hit. 20 seconds left. They like saving the utility. I think they're going to try and yeah save the utility for the post plant that might never come. We'll see. James loses his head. Norbert's got to find five in total. Ah, oh, the nade tags him down so low. Still two quick headshots, definitely on the cards. Not ready for that heaven player, and VP will fall flat. Yeah, good start as well. I think a lot of that just comes off the back of that short plate. Really good work coming through, getting a double out of it as well. Very, very important work. And Bro as well, standing tall as a B anchor. He's somebody that we've looked towards on this side who hasn't exactly been himself, hasn't exactly been as confident maybe as we want out of him, but that is good to see. This play here, that's basically what wins it for them. Nice and easy from Yabby for a double as Flit and Mir get caught. Yes, Norbert Arnt's back, but... By the tail end of that round, he was left with way too much to do. The bomb plant is a nicety. That'll at least give them a buy to work with. Blues across the board, and AK and a scout in support. Astralis have a buy of their own. A little bit lesser in terms of the firepower, I guess you could say, with the MP9, but double Farmas, double M4 should be okay. And of course, got a Utah to work with. Either side really got a full belt here. A lot of this is going to come down to raw aim jewels. And VP are going to slow things down. I'm going to try and invite in a bit of pressure. Device going to drop a smoke over the hedge there. Great film, by the way. Oh my goodness. In this Real no throwback. We're getting there. that kind of reference game, bro. <laughs> Real throwback oh here. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We're bringing I mean, them all out, ladies and gents. It's one of those films as a kid. See, the, 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 the younger generation, they don't know about this with the streaming services. But you only maybe had <laughs> like five DVDs. So you had to watch them over and over. Speaking of over and over, here comes Stair to slam them straight into the next round. And make sure that this one is indeed going to finish pretty quickly. Big, big damage with the two-piece. He wants the third. He spotted the bomb, and he does get himself another. Takes a tag, but it doesn't matter. He'll drop back after the triple. Of course, off the back of it now. Two versus five. There's definitely arguments to be made here for... Flit and Fame just to save, to be perfectly honest. But sticking around for fights. Fame, nice shot. Somebody's been a little bit quiet by his standards. So far, this game, Stown. Peering in the smoke. Fame on the other side. Gets caught. It's on his flip. Down they both go. 2-0 start for Astralis. This time, no bomb plant for Virtus Pro. That will mean no buy for VP. And of course, giving Astralis out the gates here on a very tough map of overpass. A great start on the CT side. Yep, looking good. Looking very, very good indeed. Um, and this is one, like you say, VP. Super hard team to put away. It is still early doors. And yeah, VP, they'll be banking on every single round, of course. We do have an AK out here. Fame spending all of his money to give Flit that AK. So some slightly more aggressive economic decisions being made by VP early on, and it does pay off. Flit has managed to 
open things up towards middle there, it looks like. Stare in the same position at Divider here. Oh, tries to get the timing and flips. Just like, listen, man, I want to hold W. I want to shoot some heads. Screw this sitting around for a minute and a half. Yabby from behind, what can he get done? Ah, oh, he drops the bomb, importantly. Got some support as well that is as yet to reveal itself. So they might think that they can get in, find this player by himself, but no, not going to be the case. Down, pushes up off the back of the smoke. So at the moment, it is just damage. Yeah, bomb plan denied. What the hell is Flit doing here? This is actually, weirdly, a very good position. If he drops bank here, especially now that Bro's found a kill, Flit can be the difference maker. He's so low, but he can probably guarantee himself a kill if he checks out towards long. But if Bro doubles back and has a look on towards sides, he's going to spot him in the MP9 at range, should do the job. Should see him off and it will. Last man alive. Fame has only got a Glock. And he's tagged down to 24 points of HP. So what felt like for a moment... Down goes Fame. And down goes Virtus Pro. I don't mind that by though, because at the very least, a couple of kills. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, it is a, a little bit of an overspend for one of the players, but ultimately they are back in with a decent amount of cash, a workable amount of cash. And you always have to assume um, for that VP side that everything is calculated in some capacity. And Jane on the Tech 9. How beautiful is that? He could have bought an AK, but he made the decision in the last round, didn't he? Let's go for a hero AK. Fame, here's what you're going to do. And in the follow-up round, he goes, don't worry, guys. I will take the burden. I will bear the burden. That's the phrase I'm looking for. And, and he goes down to the Tech 9. So there you go. Everybody says he's greedy, always wants the AWP. It's not always the case. A burst forwards in towards B. This is a bit new, isn't it? A rush out from VP. They're feeling aggressive. Last round, found success. This round, big success. 5v3. And that B bomb site. The bomb is going to be late. I don't know that Stras can really do much to stop them now. I think you're right here. So it goes down. Down sticks around. But what do Astralis do with 3v5? And the big thing that lets them down, once uh, two smokes, two flashes. Not exactly going to be easy. James should get a freebie of a plant, and he will. And this will change things. They are sticking around for 5 see if anyone faces. In the post plant, that's where they might get an opportunity. The Vice's orb sticks around, but James going to play it safe. Ops to play all the way back towards Monster. And that'll be the round. VP, very, very standard here on towards that B side. Norbert cracks it open with a double kill. And before you know it, the round done in a matter of moments. Simple, effective. And man, for Astralis, just left a little bit of sleep of the wheel there. Bro and Yabby just get caught. It was actually only one flash over that does all the work. Yeah, and I mean, again, uh, you talk about standard, maybe in terms of uh, the general team play at the top level and indeed overpasses the map. But for VP, maybe not so much. We are starting to see them get a bit more aggressive, for sure. It's not uh, super, super surprising, but, you know, Norbert, spawn-based, flash behind him. It is certainly not as common, and that's within the first sort of 30 seconds. You know, we do see them go for bursts, of course, but... Very, very fast, just to keep Astralis on their toes. And indeed, it gives VP their first round. Paul's coming in here. Seems to be more technical in nature. Saying a few prayers, it's not going to be too long, but <laughs> we've been good. We've been good. We've had a few yeah. in number, but they don't generally last that long. You know, the team has been on it. I'm sure you all saw the pit stop. Uh, that was pretty... I think we could do better, personally. I think we could do better. Oh, yeah? uh, it was still pretty fast. Locker. Okay, well, not me, not me. I mean, I would say we, the team, you know, we're, we're a part of the team <laughs> in some some way, you know. Uh, they're more on the, the pit wall. And what are we doing? I don't know. We're really just yeah. waffling. Entertainment? I guess we're entertainment, aren't we, at the end of the day? Uh, yeah, yeah. Seems like the issue is for Stare. Something will be changed, and it looks like we'll probably be back underway in just a moment. But either way, good first round for the board here by Bertus Pro. That's going to give them a bit of confidence, right? Very simple change in tempo. Works well. They're getting something changed there. Not exactly sure what it is, but a classic little reset. He probably should be back underway in a moment. But yeah, good little round out of uh, Bertus Pro. And I think as well, we've currently... How overpass finds us, I think, at the exact moment, it's 
the second most seed to the map in the pool currently with Nuke kind of just reclaiming that crown. It's kind of been a bit of a back and forth between Nuke and Overpass of what is the most CT side and heading in towards CS2. And uh, VP, if they can build up some decent foundations on the C side, they can give themselves a good amount to work with. They can give themselves a little bit of that, uh, that luxury heading in towards what is then going to be a CT side that we know Virt Virtus Pro are so good on. Also, one of these things as well, just after you find a round, just after you find a kind of a bit of a gap in the armor, to have yourself, you know, have to sit in a pause there, you can't talk, that always does hurt. I think it can maybe kind of knock what felt like maybe a little bit of momentum building. Oh yeah, absolutely. Especially after a fast round, you know, you have that sort of conditioning in, in place where it's like, okay, how are Astralis going to respond? Do we go fast again? Do we sort of fake speed? Uh, similar utility, but don't send a player in. All that kind of goes out the window. I think generally after a bit of a longer tech pause, you just go back to something that is is default. Um, we will see some teams, and it was obviously a thing many years ago where every team would do it, but yeah. some teams just go super fast, but then VP have just done that. So I think Astralis, <laughs> at the very least, what will be at the front of their heads, the front of their memory, is like, okay, maybe try and have guns up this round. They might try something fast again. So they don't have uh, much of an option with that anymore. But uh, yeah, I, I think it is a little difficult for VP. I'm gonna have to readjust, but their default, some of the best in the game for sure. James sure. made sure of that. It looks like we are just about good to go here. Um, deciding on a strat on the piece of paper, of course. Nice. Again, another another point of controversy. How do you feel about how do you feel about the uh, the notes in game? Do you know what? I think it. I I know people do complain, but I, I so what I would say is I think a piece of paper is fine, right? I think maybe you know you, you see people have like whole notebooks. Maybe that can be excessive. However, for me, I don't care, right? Because I feel like it kind of raises the skill ceiling, in my opinion, right? Having all these strat, it's you know near impossible probably to memorize all of them, especially with how nuance and specific some of these teams are i mean I'm vp are a prime example of it or i mean even if you're a team like astralis under new leadership probably a couple of new plays uh in the book right i think it's, it's it's difficult to remember all of them so i think for me having those pieces of paper and all the rest it feels like it raises the um the ceiling the skill ceiling i know uh the the old the old v word they don't allow it i'm pretty sure and it was a bit of a conversation over there but uh We'll fool them, I guess. Charles. Taking short water control here. And the spam as well. From Stown. Gives them at least a bit of security on the peak. They don't spot anything, though. And they know VP all too well. They're probably sitting back. They're not falling into the trap that Jane likes to set. So they're just going to drop back on towards site. Give them the space that they want it. And play for the trades. They're going to go for a three-man play via the B side. But interestingly enough, they're not actually doing a lot of poking and prodding over towards A. They've been sitting on the site for the vast majority of this round. Only now they're starting to make a move over towards Long. Yeah, I mean, could work. Fame is here. Ooh, going to go in off the back of a flash and it's perfect. Thank you very much. Lovely little move out from VP. Perfectly timed. I think it was more meant for, you know, the end of Long, but it works all the same. Straight in through B as well. The flash is too good. Norbert left blind. He catches Bro with no ammo, though. He'd swapped across that USP. Panicked to spray down. It's not really going to work, is it? Still at the back of the side, we've got Yabby holding strong for one. Not going to be enough. Device and Stown. I think you just save here, unfortunately. Astralis yeah. getting a taste of the VP machine. Sporting Utah for them is unbelievable, isn't it? So damn good. Fame skill in particular, really highlighting the best of it. It's down the vice. They've really got no choices here but to say these are the two most important people in the server for Astralis so far this tournament. In terms of the numbers they've been putting up, these are the guys we want to see really try and push the envelope a bit for Astralis. But now that VP have made a two for two, that's important. Jane going to get caught as well. So consolation kills are better than nothing. Silver linings you'll take every day of the week. And have I saved this off? He is sort of being hunted, but Mir and Fame don't overplay their cards. Something came to them, they take it, but they're not going to overpush. It's a simple, this is the first. This one from Fame, a beaut. Has to be said, James Flash, absolutely brilliant. And he avoids the orb shot out towards long as well, so really nicely done. 
Uh, versus Pro. This is them in a nutshell. So difficult to stop when they get going. So difficult to break down and you get a little over aggressive, you get caught. If you slow things down, the Utah will kill you. You have to try and find ways to give yourself advantages, but they're one of the, like we've already said time and time again, one of the hardest teams to break down. J Martel's long. I think you probably should expect not all too much from Astralis because they haven't really pushed long once. Yeah, heavy, heavy B presence here from Astralis, it looks like. Uh, really banking on that. An advanced position from Stair to gather information. Call for rotations if they are indeed needed, but it sort of banks on him at least staying alive and not just like instantly going down, conceding control. So it could be tough for him out there. Astralis, though, this lead very quickly dwindling you know it looked very good in the early rounds fended off the force by quite nicely vp though with the guns have stepped up the game quite quickly and astralis not out of their depth but it is certainly getting there you know if, if vp are able to string four and five together that's a really solid t side already so yeah we need to see astralis putting something back and sooner rather than later as well Astralis this round, lose this, going to be in a lot of trouble. Stay good timing, finds fame, drops him, it doesn't overplay. This is something Astralis are doing really well at. They're not sticking around too long, they're not overfacing. Doubles back and he now invites on a bit of pressure, has the support over towards map of device with the AWP. He's going to get a chance in a second as well. Mir and Norbert appearing around the corner. Jane trying to be the difference, but Flick going to get caught. And now one by one, they're going to pick the part time. It's ticking, boys. Here and now, you've got to go. Norbert going to get caught. Hop shot with the orb. Can't quite connect as Mir. Oh, the bomb. Transformer, but down he falls. And of course, it's all done in a matter of moments. Jane, the last man alive, yet to get off the board in terms of the frags as well. And he will just save the orb, but he takes a dink. And that's how Astralis answer back. That's a really decent response. Yeah, they were rolling in. I think it was one of the kills at Device. This one, maybe? I believe that's the bomb, and no one had picked it up on their way in. You know, James sort of yeah. watching the backside. I think maybe uh, Mir was meant to have picked it up. You saw him smoke, immediately go to Optimus for like a safe plant from the AWP. He didn't have the bomb. May well have thought that he did have the bomb. Either way. Uh, yeah, that kind of cost them a little bit. I, ultimately, not having enough time. You know, it, it causes too much panic and um, you don't have time to stare at the minimap and whatnot when there's fights going on all around you. Device, though, looking very, very good. I was a little worried for a moment. He was fragless for a good uh, four rounds. And then he managed to get some exits on the way out. And then, of course, the first time that he's put under pressure on that orb, he delivers. Who else? <laughs> You'd certainly expect it from the most consistent player in history. But yes, VP, timeout taken here. Another buy going to come forward for them. It's not the best. Definitely is workable. They're just trying to stay hot on the heels of the CT side. Yeah. Astralis as well. That round was not only important for them to kind of regather a bit of momentum. That was about kind of survival in the early part of this game, right? Economy was on the line there. Lose that and... It's next round, no buy, and this would have given VP the opportunity to not only tie the game up, but start to, you know, build upon a lead. That's the worrying thing. You really can't give them a lead on this T side. VP, same uh, notions that we made towards Astralis last round in terms of survival of the funds. We have to save for them here. If they don't get a bomb plant at the very least, it will be uh, without the facilities to invest in towards round number eight. It looks like that bomb is going to head in the direction of B, but there is four players there ready to meet them. Astralis have done their homework. Yeah, again, very, very ready, I think, for the VP setup. Uh, they will actually rotate that fourth player away, but to begin with, it's something that they've gone for uh, a few times, certainly more than is usual for VP, these B bursts. It's going to be a later one coming in this round, but a replenished monster smoke makes their life a bit easier. There will be no double prong of the attack, and I think VP are... You know, not really feeling it. They don't really want to move in without that. Shot being traded off here. It's Bro on the MP9 up close that certainly does some damage. Device, back of the site. Is he going to stick around? He is, but nothing walking into his crosshair just yet. I think he's had a sound cue now that they are down in towards water. There's Flit. Oh, Stone saves the day and gets the man advantage again. Only 20 seconds with that bomb spilled on site. Not ideal. No smokes here. 
Pressure starting to come in to deny that pickup, deny that plan. But I think Astralis... Oh, never mind. The touchdown made. And now they will, of course, barrel forwards into Jane. He has to find two in four seconds. Not a chance, sir. Will he survive? It looks like he will. Oh, sticking around. Trying to take the fight. Oh. What is going on? Stair gets in with the USP. Oh, my <laughs> God. This is carnage. If Ryan's saying Stair got that wall banging from so, sight, yeah. yeah, through the woods. So even a funnier way to close it out. But James, no escape. He had six seconds when he's over towards short to cross sight through his smoke, then get the bomb down. He was never going to be given that time. He was never going to be given the luxury. So versus Pro, not only is it James dying off the time, there's also no bomb plan, no round. Astralis extending their lead to three. This is a really decent spot to find yourself in. Rostralis. No real worries them at all. May gonna chunk an aid early, bro. Sitting up close. He's done this play a couple of times, but BP aren't really waking up to it. They're going for the deep flash over monster rather than pop flashing through. So bro, for the most part, is remaining okay. Are they gonna change it up this time? It looks like they are. James setting up for it. Bro now finally might be in a little bit of trouble. Up close here, Norbert. As a smoke starts to fade, he's going to pop his way through. They're going to go for the high one, though. Just sit up close. He's, for the most part, okay. Gets one. Trey going to come through. Stone doubles down, which is huge. Yeah, that's so clean. I mean, really well done from VP here, though, to be honest. Just absolute chaos strewn. The, the airstrike comes in, finds a kill. Bomb plant, though, going to be denied. Surely by stare, indeed. And Mir also falls to the young gun. Beautifully held. Playing very, very well here as... As well, it has to be said. I think mainly just consistent from him, but he's not died an awful lot. Astralis, yeah, looking good. This is impressive. You know, uh, again, another round in there that VP could easily have taken. Again, unorthodox, you know, it's aggressive. It's in your face. I think it is designed to catch Astralis off guard, but it's just not working. Yeah, and you know, or VP as well. Credit to them. Three kills and a near bomb plan. It's not the worst round on the sort of buy that they had, but they are in a real uncomfortable spot. Double AK, double Gilil, James, of course, with his economy dying off the time. Funny, Nade. Uh, he's left on a tech nine again. That's right, mate. Nobody saw that Nade. Up close, bro. He tested. Swing on the angle. David Spray, though, because he gets caught. Yabby, Stalin, they won't. Rolling it back. Flip will try and level it, but he falls as well. And now. It's all down to a two versus two. This is still winnable for Astralis when it looked lost. Can we get a plan for VP? That's all they've wanted the past few rounds. They're actually going to move forward to the fight. Yabby, yeah, he's got a feeling. Someone else coming towards me, but he pulls off a reload, tries to sneak it in, and fame will punish him. All on to stare. As I mentioned, great game from him so far. Super consistent, super clean. They fake out B with some utility and walk wow. off towards the A site. It may well have worked. Stair gets deeper and deeper into B as they get closer and closer to A. It's too late. It gets worse and worse, I suppose. Yeah, there's no way he can deny it, and he might just save. He might just try and scoop up an orb, scoop up some utility, and take the save. He's so far away. Yeah. Zero info. Yeah, and the orb is right there for the taking. I think it's kind of a go-to. He sort of has to. It's so difficult to retake. And the one thing that lets him down is he only just then finds the smoke. He only had, an, uh, I think it was just a flash to work with before he picked the nade and the smoke. It's, it's just not good enough. Retake utility. I'll be that. VP, great little mid-round call there from James. In that one versus two, smoke towards the B side, run all the way towards A, and they know that in the foot race they can win it, and they do. So they're going to drop in towards Con. I think he should be okay, but I'm saying I think because they are peering down in towards Con. He pops up, but thankfully he can fall away safely up towards the ladder. And that'll be VP answering back. A third put on the board for them. Now, traditionally, when I look at this map of, you know, not going into too much of the specifics of the team and their percentages, I would say five rounds is a decent T side by kind of most metrics. If Virtus Pro can find that, I'd actually be pretty happy, especially because they haven't quite looked comfortable. Astralis get anywhere near eight. I think they've already put themselves in a really good position, despite how difficult the T-side can be. And Astralis have had their T-side woes in this map before. I think they've given themselves good foundation. So let's see what is the case as we head into the final couple of rounds, final few rounds, may I say, of the half. Oh, device miss. 
Doesn't cost him anything. Ah, 10 damage. He'll be okay. He'll survive. Just a flesh wound. Yeah, of course. But One thing that is interesting here. Yeah. Look at the Utah for Charles. So little, right? You know, they've prioritized the, the guns and thankfully it'll work for them as Fame gets caught and Stay might be able to get one of his own. But if they're forced to the retake, they might struggle. Yeah, that is a very good point. So they're trying to deny the retake, really. Advanced positions, particularly on A. Taking fights, finding kills. It's what they are after. Oh, the Molotov. Bit awkward. For Still able to stick around in pretty much the same position. And yeah, I was going to say he might do one of the old classics and just refill the spot once the fire goes down. VP have not really done too much with it. Actually, a smoke for him to work over the top of Norbert. Not going to be expecting this, but Norbert has crept in completely. Flash, super effective. Oh, the double denied, but Yabby stays in on the site. Can they find him? James does through the smoke. And there's plenty of room to get that bomb down. The nade. Oh, and Stair coming in from heaven, I believe. Not quite sure. Yeah, it must be heaven. The smoke must have gone down. He was a bit open, and he gets punished for it. VP again. These plants have really been them, right? Time and time again. In the last five seconds, all Flick can do is tuck his tail between his legs and hide. This is really getting awkward. Great round, though, out of Astralis. And, you know, something you touched on a little bit early into it is the proactivity out of Astralis out the gate. They know that they can't really afford to let that bomb go down. They can't afford to try and be, you know, forced to retake because they just do not have anything around the util belt. They take fights. They're trying to get numbers advantage. They're trying to play the trade game, and it works wonderfully. Really decent stuff out of them. And again, VP going to take a real knock when it comes towards the investment. They are going to go for a buy, though, interestingly enough. So there's double AK, and then a few bit of pistols. Bits of Utah, but not exactly a lot. Feels like a big risk. And, you know, we speak a lot about James Masterclass and, you know, the mind games I used to play, but this one could really backfire on them. They can have nothing in towards the last as well, which... Maybe might even give us shots to 9 3. Yeah. Yeah, that is a very scary prospect. And it's not like VP have come close with these. I don't know. We'll see. Jump spot, not going to get anything, but it is kind of a distraction move. They want to push in through short quite heavily. They've got player in con as well. So they really wanted to go short there, but with that smoke coming in, you know, is there two players behind it? Don't want to risk it. Device, meanwhile, out on the A-bomb side, just playing that classic spot at the uh, APC over at Bank. Jumping above Dice. Jumping to short, you know, just changing it up, keeping vision, and making sure that nobody can get I'm the drop on him. sure Device with a spot of them there. Yeah, that's what they've run away. That's where Stair starts to pounce. Good timing. There's one. James also shoulder spotted. Not punished yet, but at the very least, Stair doing a good job bouncing between the sides here through connector. And as Flip falls by the hands of Bro, he might be able to double it down. And behind. The timing is excellent from Stair. Gonna find one. Norbert swings to his demise as he goes six feet under. And that'll thrust Mir into a one versus four. 15 seconds script. This round's done. And this could be the half being done already for VP. Save of the M4, not the end of the world. He's got uh, that Kevlar. I don't think he's... Oh, he might have taken some head damage, to be fair. But either way, uh, it's kind of his only option. Ooh. Should <laughs> be able to save. I think Device, yeah, just spotted him. But couldn't take him down. But yeah, man, I mean, looking really, really good for Astralis here. There was a little blip in the middle, wasn't there, where we felt, okay, VP picking up some speed. Maybe they can close this gap, but not really. Not really, to be honest. A few isolated rounds. Astralis have been absolute kings here. We'll see how the T side looks for them. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. You know, we've got some great pieces. Device not been tested too much, but when he has, he's looked good. Uh, Stare, of course, absolutely yeah. fantastic half from him. Might not be the most kills you've ever seen. But he's only died three times. He's winning most of his engagements. He's getting multi-frag moments whenever he steps up. And Bro follows some traces for a free. I want to say as well, you know, just to retouch on that point you were talking about, a stare, right? He's playing one of the hardest positions on this map. He's playing through connector, but alone. And he's actually exposed to three different angles. Not only yeah. top con, which he's now pushing, but also through short and also mid. 
He doesn't have that front bar from support. They're not really taking short control. So he's actually so exposed, but he's still managing to step up time and time again. He's a lucky man to get away with his life. He's uh, fortunate that Jame had the knife out. That's information gained at the very least. He did spot Jame and the bomb mastering the direction of B. So you can see them sort of reacting to it. Under a minute to work with, VP wants to call. I mean, James going back towards A, but they're already down to four. Yeah, I mean, it, I don't know what to say. It's very tough for them. 40 seconds is kind of their wheelhouse uh, with a full belt on flit. By so, oh, he's so quick, man. He's just raring for these frags, you know? Seven kills, seven <laughs> assists though, man. You know, he really, really, really has to take every single opportunity to just get the kills. He's got a point to prove. So does Stair. Flanked out quickly, traded quickly, but still 4v2. Decent information. It's got to be A. 20 seconds left. They don't really know where the bomb's coming from, but like, true. where else is it going to be? Stan's watching long. And they are super ready for this. James does win out the fight. A missed shot from Device. Got to get that bomb in. The Device, he could sacrifice himself. Just going for the swing, for the frag. Tags landing. No kills as yet. Device Ooh. taken low. Yabby taken low. But they make it work. It's Bro that comes in from Dumpster to get it finished. That will be the half nine to three in favor of Astralis. Hell of a CT side coming up. And surely enough work done to take map number one. Catch you after the break. Future pros, a classic smoke for you today. This is a smoke thrown from CT spawn to block off monster. To throw the smoke, stand in the corner next to this bin. Aim right at the end of this train line pole thing. Then jump throw the smoke. A fairly easy but powerful smoke, which if thrown fast will land before the T's even make it to monster.
What up? Welcome back. Second half here between Astralis and VP, but mainly Astralis. Nine rounds coming out from them on Overpass, a map that, you know, uh, when uh, VP picked into it, we were a little bit like, well, could be risky, but one of their favorite, you know, etc., etc. It looks good for them. Um, you'd expect it to be close with sort of where the win percentages are at and the win streak at the moment for VP, but anything, anything but. Uh, after that first half. Second half is always a different story, and the CT side of VP is always formidable. So, Astralis, if they can kick off with a pistol, then they really start to threaten a dominant scoreline. However, if VP can get going, then we might be in for a Let's game. see if they can, right? That is the big question on our minds. Well, well. Pistol out of Astralis basically could uh, open and close this book in this map number one and really start to open up the series in a way we maybe didn't expect. We sort of felt like Overpass, felt like a forlorn conclusion coming in towards it. Now, well, it's anything but. Grouping up here, Astralis, in through bathrooms, not over committing just yet. Better a U-turn device as well, smoking a flash to work with. They're just going to chip down that clock bit by bit. As VPs to stay remain quad stacked through B. They've only got one man. It's just James up towards the top side. Now he's going to be tested. Flash is coming in. Immediate back away. He'll take some fights if they come his way, but ultimately looking to survive. He will concede the bomb plant. They're happy to take that. Advanced position here from Yabi, trying to find that first frag. Oh, there's a USB at spawn. Thank you very much. And he makes good use of it. Oh, no. Fallen into the wrong hands, a keen frag from Yabby, and that's all they were looking for, the first kill. Now they're able to drop back, drop away. Flash comes over the top. Another one for Yabby, though. This USP that he's found, doing absolute work. Can he find any more? I think he's just keeping them at bay right now, but the flicks are too true from Yabby. Surely no chance here for VP. They will look to back away, but even that is denied. Only flip remains. Tail between legs. Astralis. What a game Man for alive. So And it's such a small mistake, right? It's such a, you know, a, a mini thing. It's not even a mistake, technically speaking. It's just a, you know, a, a standard thing. Yeah. The, what, I yeah. mean, what could you do about it? Come on now. Like, how how extra is that? I have to throw, like, yeah, oh, have to throw this exactly. USP out it's of the It's one of those map, things, you know? right? You know, no one does that. pistols is great, but man, how it's come back to bite them. Something that is, you know, so menial that we wouldn't even think about it. But they've dropped them a USP and he's walked away with an incredible 3k. Man, fair play. Astralis. Now seven rounds ahead of Virtus Pro and Overpass. They are getting decimated right now. And VP calling for their final pause. And you can see Dastan getting pretty vocal, understandably. Whereas on the other side, they're pretty sure it's all the struggles. Everything is kind of, yeah, everything's sort you're of doing what you're doing. looking pretty damn good. Anything. They're going to buy into it, of course. Uh, for VP, they've got themselves out the old fam ass in the hands of Flit. And aside from that, it's not really all too much. A couple of upgraded pistols, and that'll be about that. But yeah, the Charlotte's seven rounds ahead and only three rounds away from closing out this map and pushing us towards Vertigo with so much confidence. Yabby's run boosts. Not a spawn. He'll get a little bit of an early push in towards short heavy ones. Not going to take it. Let's get that util over the top and we'll back off. They're trying to feign some presence on the B side. Maybe take some damage through the smoke. Nothing coming. Astralis moving slowly again. Up towards long this time. Three players working in tandem. Device bringing up the rear with the scout. So I do like the little setup here. Flash into the bathroom. They're not wasting any time. Not taking any chances. They respect VP, I think, and understand that if they are given an inch, this is certainly a team that will walk a mile barefoot if they have to. It starts here for VP on the fourth by Jane once again going to be left alone. Utility over the top. He does not realize how close they are, though. Bro will get the drop. That's the only kill they need, really, if you ask me. Bomb should go down momentarily. And VP locked out firmly. A lack of weaponry, a lack of kits. I suppose they have more utility than you'd usually Maybe, expect yeah. out of a buy like this, but it's not enough. It's yeah, not enough. Put, yeah, so you've got it, right? I think the second that one casualty comes through, that's it. They have no money to work with in arrears, so they basically have to try and 
salvage this buy-in towards the next, but they are going to be, you know, slightly hunted the tail end of it. Astralis, I don't think they want to give up a rifle, though. That's the only thing for me. Don't give them the chance of having an AK, especially considering all they have is a FAMAS, and all they will have in towards the next round is a FAMAS. Versus Pro running out of chances now, and it feels like they've basically got one full buy left in them to try and deny Astralis just running over them, decimating them on their map pick. Oh, man. Beautiful work. Really simple as well, isn't it? Really, really simple. Through the smoke. Off the back of devices. Flash. Bro cracks it open. One kill, and that's the round. Quickest allies you've seen all game. One kill, and that's it. Round number 15, and Astralis are already ever close. So you're locking this game out. It's been beautiful work. It really has. James has really struggled to play the game in terms of his individual performance, but also call. Device is doing a masterful job at the moment. Yeah, something new for Mr. James to deal with, for sure. I think, again, we'll continue to look in at this Astralis team. Is it just the fact that it's a bit different? People are maybe a bit fearful, you know, what is Device going to bring? Or is this type of play here to stay because this would be another dominating map from them again steel helmet we can put them in a category of their own but it's not like the teams <laughs> that they faced off against have done much better you know so yeah if this continues to a 13-3 we start to look at Astralis as like hold on a minute what's going on here and I'm sure I'm sure the Danish fans will be getting very excited Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. VP still have a defense to work with. James, up close on the left-hand side of that smoke. Does have a bit of support here as well. They've got a good amount of topside presence. With 35 seconds, Astralis basically have to commit to this. They can full rotate and gamble here. There's a fan mass on the corner. Bro's going to catch. Nice shot from him. Does Fame get cleared? The art is going to be yes. And effectively at the hands of Step. Not so much for Device, but... It Basically, a one-man turret towards backside of James is really asking a little bit too much of the IGL. Molotov comes down, aptly timed. Oh, but up close to a 5-7, not going to do too much. Map point, Astralis, on your opponent's map pick. This is a beaut. Everything is going in their favor, and absolutely nothing is going wrong. Virtus Pro have not shown up to play. And while it might be, you know, 10.30 a.m., here in the EU, it's not in China. You don't have the excuse of it being a morning game or anything of the sort. Nearly bedtime for VP, apparently. Not looking good. Not looking good here, but they will have one opportunity and James strikes. There he is. A lovely opener for them. Absolutely beautiful. We need many more of those if this game is to continue on and if VPR to take the victory. Astralis, though, first time in a long time. Going to be tested, so let's see what they do. They are primary orpless. IGL down. Can he lead from the grave? Well, James, I get another chance here as well. Yabby oh, just pulls off. It might give him a chance on towards there, though. Stair doesn't face either. So they're given mid and front bar for his control. It's down. But the device is open. His hands looking out towards long and not a whole lot offering up for him. But he was spotted on the jumpy there. J might want to fight here. Flash is good. Doesn't stick around all too much. Time's on to tick as well. Molotov and a smoke going to come down in towards front bar for him as fame sticks up close. Game. Oh, spotting one, taking him cleanly. So a solid advantage now, working into the A take. It's looking good. Stair does manage to get two back. So still have to give the respect to Cross here. Bomb going to be retrieved. They, I would say, just about have enough time to charge in towards B, but if there's any resistance, not a chance. Great flash comes over the top. Split, though, at the back end of truck has to be dealt with. Stair ready for him. Trade is there. Ten seconds to get going. Can't plant for short. It's down. Oh. God, what does he do? Where does he look? They're giving him the fights. He just can't win them. Down he will go and VP's still alive. Only surviving with two. 
but it's better than nothing. This is Virtus Pro keeping the dream alive. It has to be a miraculous run to get back into this game. But that's the way to start it. James getting a little proactive. James getting into the fight. Very oh, neat. Up oh, these consistent numbers. He's been pretty uncharacteristically quiet by his standards. In the corner. Astralis, they do sort of have a vibe on the best one. There it was just a deagle. Yabby might get a chance here. Spams the wood, does get a little bit of a tag. Astralis don't overface. No, not quite just yet. And they were ooh, looking for that early stick up. How is that? Only 10 damage. It felt like it was right on him, but there you go. That's a bit better. Stair going to be taken down to half. Mir with the wall bangs here. Absolute money. They're just waiting him out at the end of the day before they go up for the boost. They will eventually, I think, try and get that AK working in particular. No? Okay. <laughs> are we boosting? What are we doing here, guys? They're just sat in short water for the past yeah, minute. Pause here to try and maybe bait up at a Uto, but EP on falling for the trap. And not biting. Now the boost comes through. Yabby, waiting for his chance. Does spot one a thing of flip back sight? Flit now not going to face. 25 seconds, lads. We've got to go. Yeah. Oh, God. And the molly, uh, they're really stuck for options. They're just going to have to wait it out. Trying to split up a little bit. But what is this? A late flash? Yeah, in towards Monsters. Perfect. Double kill for Norbert. Flit does get one as well. They're just so ready as well. Norbert with the 4K. All righty. There you go. Fifth round in for VP. Astralis, yeah. though, kind of handed them that one. You know, super telegraphed and just really not working any. Got to look at uh, as well, VP, you know, something we kind of mentioned mid round, but come back to it now. They just didn't nibble, right? Every little instance that Astralis tried to do, try and bait in fight, try to find a gap. Virtus Pro just stood their ground, held their util as well, because they knew late round that it would be way more useful. Works really well, Astralis. It's one of their own worst enemies there. They had a, had a plan in mind. It doesn't go too plan out of spawn. And then they're kind of stuck mid-rounding. Uh, Astralis, and I guess, device in particular, didn't really know what to do. So just pistols for them to work with here. Under 18. Not expecting a whole lot, to be perfectly honest. Yabby, holding for somebody to jump peek. Might get a chance as well, as Mira's done for, gone for it a couple of times, but... This round, we're not really expecting all too much, to be perfectly honest, from Astralis. If they can get a bomb plant, even that would be a real luxury. Norbert. Playing with fire here. Oh, yabby! That is so beautiful. The timing, the execution. Caught him perfectly on the shoulder. All right. Love that. A bit more of that from Astralis would be nice for sure. They're going to get Yabby boosted up to try and find another one here. But the top of his head spotted by Flip. And he is short-lived. Already, though. Close down. Going to find Flip. Surely not, boys. Surely not. This is the sort of round you convert. The eagle in the hands of the vice. The rifle picked up already briefly by Stair before he falls. This man on side of Mir doing all the work. At range. Jamie will close it. Mir did really good work just to make sure that, that one was under lock and key. So, again, VP staying alive, chipping away at the deficit. That was an expectation in that round. But the Rayleigh's making it, for the most part, pretty comfortable. That's all that we care about. Now, as well, going to go back into a buy of their own. AK's going to come out. I don't know if they have enough for an AWP. They don't. So, no AWP in the back pocket of Astralis here. But at the very least, full rifles and full util too. Much better. They might want to change the tempo a little bit. That slower style they tried earlier didn't work for them. They lost to the clock in. Yabby going to fade the smoke. Yabby going to find the opener. Yeah, they've got plenty of time to condition in. I think that's exactly what they've done. Flit waiting for a flash. It's ineffective. Yabby in way deeper. 
than they ever expected on the VP side of things. That might just be curtains on overpass. Fame running in. Ah, what can he really do? Jame all alone. Oh my God, Yabby. Super, super clean stuff from him. What a showing out from Astralis though. Took them a bit of time to close it, but ultimately an incredibly dominating showing there on overpass VP. Dejected as you can see. What is this beast? What is this Astralis? I mean, we're gonna have to find out as this is.